The snow keeps piling up across Kettle Land, and so do the snow removal bills. In tonight's Your Money Matters, the financial impact all of the snowfall this winter is having on local businesses and nonprofits. Every time we see these snowfalls come up in that double digit number, it's just really hard on them. The maintenance staff for Pender Properties handles all of the snow removal at their three downtown Sioux Falls properties. It's a cost in time for us. The snow that we got over the last couple of days uh, took us past our annual budget. Spirit of Joy Lutheran Church contracts out all of their snow removal. They've spent an entire year's budget in just two months. We're already looking at a snow event again next week and wondering what November and December of next year will bring. Part of the increased expense is working to keep this large parking lot clean all week. We are a seven day a week ministry. Our preschool folks are here open at eight o'clock in the morning and we don't want to say no uh, by having snow close us and keep things and keep people away and so that priority means that we're going to spend. But the main reason for blowing through the snow removal budgets this winter is the sheer amount of snowfall we've seen. We don't have space to put all of this snow, right? So our cost for pickup, we have someone who comes in and picks it up and hauls it out for us. So that is definitely an additional cost. All of these huge snow piles are also taking up some of the parking spaces in the church. It's a big deal come Sunday morning. Because of the loss of parking spaces, have contracted to have snow picked up and piled um, around the edges of our parking lot. And of course, that's immensely expensive. And while this winter may come with a big sticker shock, we just know that last year we hardly spent anything on it. And now this year we're going to be spending a lot more, but it'll even out in the long run. But the bigger bill this year does mean having to compensate for the added expense. And for some businesses, that could mean passing the cost on to customers. For nonprofits like the church, it means cutting from other areas to help keep the ministry open through this winter and next. Well,